For me, as a studio glass worker, I was really attracted to the tradition of the European methods of working with glass, where you have designers who go to art schools and design schools working on paper and have those designs realized through the collaboration of the designer and the glass blower. One of the things I'm most proud of for in, with my career is the relationship that I have with Jan Eric Rietzman, a master blower, and the tradition for Scandinavian glass is a, of a very heavy wall tradition. It's not the Venetian paper thin tradition. And uh, this was always appealing to me as the fact that I carve my work so deeply that I do need uh, quite a bit of meat in the body of the work so that I can change the shape of the object through the carving. So I work on a notebook making not finished drawings, just basic shapes, drawing a circle, putting an X through it, and the X would be the, the, the top and the foot, or an elliptical shape, or changing the ellipse from a vertical ellipse to a horizontal ellipse, very, very basic um, uh, exercises, and then using choosing colors, which is much more difficult than, than you would think because you can, you can choose badly. Some days, you know, I wonder if I'm just idly reworking things. I don't like many colors. I don't like many forms. And I'm, so I'm looking at the forms that I do like. I try to look at a process or a piece of equipment. I try to find out what it does well. And I invariably find out what it does poorly. I try to avoid the things that it does poorly and take advantage of the things that it does well. And I call it a, an iteration where I am multiplying an object by itself. But it gets harder and harder to develop pieces this way. And there are days when I think that this is just pure folly, but then there are other days when it actually reveals something totally new. And so through this, through this folding and through the iteration, I mean, it keeps me interested. And if I, I think if I'm, if I continue to have genuine interest, I think other people will too.